so let's now check the result for all the four I think we must have got for all of them so yeah so once you click on submit this is what comes so your sift results is there <clears throat> And uh, all right, now let's let's analyze this. So, sift amino acid predictions from one two hundred to uh, one six zero one to one thousand seven hundred. So that means the sequence what we had entered was one thousand seven hundred uh, base pairs long. And from this entire thing, uh, what we'll need to do is we'll need to uh, uh, find the position where our mutation was. So it was 1036. Okay, so 1036 lies between 1001 to 1100. Obviously, because I have done it uh, before, so that's why it's highlighted. It might not come as highlighted to yours, but then you'll have to see that uh, um, where the position is. So in this case, it's 1001 to 1100. There is where 1036 is. So let me just um, open it in a new tab. All right. Um, okay yeah so now th this is the position okay this is your uh, amino acids uh, which are here uh, sequence rep you can see is the fraction of the sequence that contains one of the basic amino acids okay uh, it's not a score it is just a um, uh, what is that um, uh, sequence fraction which is there okay it's not a score or any of that sort yeah what is more important here is this section that is predict not tolerated and predict tolerated predict not tolerated here means your deleterious so uh, what these things show is this is the section where all your amino acids okay are um, predicted which could be not tolerated like for example uh, we had predicted our methionine which is getting converted into valine will it be not tolerated or tolerated so we'll have to check whether at 1036 position if our valine lies in this section that is predicted not tolerated that means um, the mutation is deleterious but if our valine lies in this position okay that means it is tolerant that means it is not deleterious so if we can see at the 1036 position yeah 1036 position that is your methionine yeah can you see the valine it's just it's just here so it lies in the left hand side west left hand side if you know is your predict not tolerated so to actually if our mutations could have been anything it could have been serine cysteine alanine arginine threonine then uh, all the mutations would have been deleterious uh, or not tolerated but if our uh, mutations would have been isoleucine methionine leucine okay then our um, uh, in this case then the mutation would have been tolerated okay so but in this case what we see is valine that is uh, not tolerated so that means uh, by sift analysis we have proven that um, uh, your uh, mutation of um, uh, methionine to valine okay uh, is deleterious now if 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 you do, you can also see if you look at this one predictions of the substitutions entered okay um, which is here okay if you click on this this section here yes substitution at position 1036 from methionine to valine is predicted to affect the protein function with a score of 0 0.05 so the score what we have obtained here okay um, for you using sift is 0 0.05 and it is said to affect the protein function all right so that means that um, uh, the using sift the uh, mutation uh, analysis what we have done is is a deleterious okay now let's let's go for the polyphen one okay so this is your polyphen result what comes out so this is the id this is the description demo you can see here your results is viewed if suppose it has not uh, if it does not work properly errors it will show here at this time you can just refresh and do it again so this is your results you click here <coughs> click on view yeah okay the mutation is predictably possibly damaging with a score of 0 0.618 okay uh, say a specificity of 0 0.91 and sensitivity of uh, 0.87 so using polyphen 2 you can see this arrow it is slightly towards on the right hand side on the dark red side so it's possibly damaging that means okay um, it is again 
predicted to be deleterious. If it was somewhere on left hand side, it could have been powdered. So using polyphene and sift, uh, it was pro proven to be deleterious. Also, if you look at the score, it varies. Now, uh, I'll be showing you Provian and fat HMM also. In all the cases, you will see the scores being varied is because the approaches what is used is different. Okay, that is what I wanted to prove. The approaches, we saw the four approaches, the sequence homology, sequence, um, uh, the sequence homology, the conserved base, uh, the sequence similarity. So these are different approaches and all the four approaches use different types. Some uses HMM, some uses uh, Navewise method, some uses some other method. So because all of them are using different methods, so obviously the score will be different. Uh, but uh, even if the approaches are different, what is our whole point is to understand what exactly it is. Now, uh, next is your proving okay uh, we had entered this and we had clicked on submitted so this is the result okay m1036 provian score minus 3.330 prediction deleterious why is it deleterious because the cutoff here is minus 2.5 so if um, your score is equal to or below 2.5 it's very small but you can see here then it should be considered as deleterious so because our score is less than minus 2.5 the prediction what we have got here is deleterious. So again using Provin, we observe that the mutation is deleterious. Now for fat HMM, okay, uh, fat HMM the score was minus 0 0.92 and the prediction here is tolerated. Okay, so if we are using HMM approach for and carrying out mutational analysis for this thing, it has given us not deleterious but it has given us tolerated. So now I think you, you must be wondering that we just had to predict something very basic but why did we do it using four different tools or four different approaches it's because we wanted to be extremely sure that whichever approach we are using okay is our mutation coming out to be deleterious or is it coming out to be tolerated so this is yeah so a predicted output for SIFT analysis was deleterious, for polyphene was also deleterious, for proven it was deleterious, but for fat HMM it was tolerant. But so the majority, like in three, it was proven to be deleterious. So we should we will go that the mutation of methionine getting converted into valine at 1036 position will be deleterious. Okay. Um, that's why this is the whole point that I tried showing you. Um, mutation analysis using four if for three it would have gotten tolerant and one it would have been deleterious okay then would have we would have gone for tolerant um, if it was too deleterious and then too tolerant then we will have to look for some other approach or some other tool which could prove us this okay uh, so this is how actually mutational analysis is done you cannot just rely on any one source uh, technically speaking sift and polyphene are considered as gold standard uh, score so you you do any of these analysis ngs analysis or any of them whatever scores what it throws out is your sift or the polyphene score itself okay but uh, as i said these are only just part of the two approaches there are other approaches which are there and it's always better to see whether you, uh, the mutation or analyze your mutation using all the approaches okay so that you are very much pretty clear so because and using this we can further uh, carry out its uh, clinical significance so the clinical significance is that this mutation is hazardous all right uh, and it uh, very much affects your protein function okay so this is what is um, uh, mutational analysis and uh, this is how we uh, carried out uh, mutation analysis for this gene okay um, using the four softwares which is available so hopefully you have uh, understood what exactly is a mutation analysis uh, thank you for listening to this session we will meet in some other time discussing some other session and till that time <laughs>